Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make an NPC that'll display a simple text dialogue. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is head over to my content browser and I'll just create a new blueprint class that's going to derive from the ACF ATS NPC blueprint. And it is useful if you do have this, the ATS, which is the Ascent toolset. It's a quest system, dialogue system, and a finite state machine. And it is part of the package. So if you, if you have ATS, Ascent Combat Framework, Ascent Toolset, and UI tools, then you do get the whole ultimate sample bundle, which has so much stuff. So back in my Unreal Engine project, I'll select my ACF, ATS, NPC. Hit select, and I'll just call this new guy. So I'll double click to open it up to open up the blueprint editor. And now what I'm gonna to wanna to do is just make sure that in the dialogue component, I'm gonna to wanna to set a few things so I can set certain camera events, dialogue widget class, camera locks, and I can change its icon and the name and so on. So I'll call this something like, so I'll just name this guy, Bob. I'm actually gonna make new stuff for this because I don't want it to refer to the ACF guy, which is already in the full map over here. So I'm gonna just exit out this ADS ACF guy and hit clear, and I wanna create a new one. So I'll just right click here, and under ACF tools, I'm gonna to select dialog graph, and I'll call this something like ADS underscore tutorial. And I'll double click here, and it's gonna have a dialog tag and a participant name. And all I'm gonna do is just right click and select ADS start dialog node. And I'll just call this something like tutorial guy, colon, how are you? And for the participant tag, I'm gonna go over and look for character. And under character, you're already gonna see quite a few set, which is like boss, blacksmith, ACF guy, and so on. And I'm gonna add a new one by hitting this arrow, clicking, clicking add sub tag, and I'll call this tutorial guy. And I'll add that tag and make sure that's selected. And then for the text, I'll do something like, hey, how are you doing? And now after this, I want to add a player response. So I'm just going to select ADS dialogue response node, and it'll already be tagged with character.player, which references to me. And I'll just write something like good. And that's it. <laughs> and now back over to my new guy character. I'm going to make sure that the participant tag is actually set to character tutorial guy, whose name is Bob. And there's already a participant icon and I can change this to whatever I want. And I can, and it's already selected a dialogue widget class by default. And if I go ahead and open this up, this is exactly what it's gonna look like. So you'll see that it's gonna have the text over here, my options over here, the name is gonna be up here and the portrait icon will go here. So now when I just drag this character out into the open and I'll turn him around and hit play, and when I talk to him, you're going to see that he's interactable and my interact button shows and my interact button shows Bob. I'll hit E and nothing actually happens. And that's because we're missing something. And I actually forgot to set this ADS tutorial over here to the dialogues. So don't forget your newly set ascent graph that you make has to go over here into this index. And also um, I just added this OK response by just putting down this arrow, dragging the arrow from the bottom and selecting ADS dialog node. And I set that participant tag to the character tutorial guy and for the text, I just put okay. So I hit compile and save, making sure that our ADS file is selected or our ascent graph for the dialog system. And now I'll hit play. And when I go over to Bob, you'll see on the right, it says interact. And when I click E, it's just gonna say, Hoy, how are you doing? Okay, I spelled that wrong. That's the portrait we selected over here. And this is the text that we set for the name. So it'll show his name over here. And I'll just hit good. And it'll say okay. And then I'll just hit continue to exit out of here. And that's a very simple, simple way on how to create a dialogue person. And I'll be going over more in-depth guides using ATS or Ascent toolset in order to create quests um, and trigger events and so on. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.